Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. As of late, I've been running a lot of Auric missions, and they're super tough, but extremely rewarding. Upon completing one last week, I actually got a brand new bull cleaver, and it gave me a great idea. Today, I want to show you a build that is built around making room for your team and decimating anything that gets in your way. You'll have a constant flow of toughness regeneration and damage reduction. I wanted to tap into one of the older talents on this one, as I felt it could definitely be more viable for keeping my team alive or saving someone while maximizing the amount of damage I could be doing. Okay, let's talk about the loadout first. The Bull Butcher Mark III Cleaver is going to be our primary weapon. As for the perks, I went with damage towards flak armored enemies and damage to maniacs. Since this is going to be a melee heavy build, I wanted to play it safe and go with confidence strike for more toughness when I chain hits, as well as momentum for even more toughness regen. As long as you swing this thing, whether it's a heavy or light chain attack, you'll be regenerating toughness constantly. The reason we want the bull cleaver is for the moveset and cleave damage distribution, not to mention it can also stagger your targets. The cleaver is going to feed into most of our passives as you'll see later on, but what is really nice is that we can safely rely on our secondary for emergencies. Since I wanted to have a little bit more fun, I took my rumbler from my tank build that I made last week and I'm reusing that. In case you didn't see that video, I have a rumbler for taking out elites and monstrosities when we can't get close enough with our cleaver. I only swapped out my perks to feed into the damage flow a bit easier on carapist armored enemies and on yielding. But I stuck with the same blessings as before. With Glory Hunter, we can get even more toughness on any elite kills. And with Adhesive Charge, our shots will actually stick to any Ogrens or monstrosities making the blast on target central to our damage output. Now if you don't care about the overall toughness, you can opt out Glory Hunter for Shattering Impact instead, for more brittleness on targets that you'll hit, making it much easier for your team to take down any elites or monstrosities. As for my curios, again, you can go with what you want in the perks, but I do recommend having some toughness regen and more toughness and health overall. For the others that you see there, you can choose whatever you want. Since I like to have more stamina for push attacks and I want to keep up with my team, I opted in for stamina regen and efficiency. The blessings I want most here are health and some toughness though for survivability. Okay, let's talk about the talent tree and how this build will stand out as a fierce cold-blooded killer. I wanted to maximize my bleed stacks as far as I could since we're going to be swinging a lot more, and this will make it much easier for our team to move forward. I kind of missed the old talent bull rush, so I went with Indomitable for my main ability. This is going to be used whenever a horde comes in or whenever you need to push to a teammate in trouble. Keep the little ones safe, that's your only job. Whenever we charge forward, we activate our other two modifiers. Pulverize, which adds 5 stacks of bleed to every enemy hit with our rush, and Stomping Boots, which will give us a massive replenishment of toughness with each enemy hit. As I said before, this build is meant to keep you alive when things get really chaotic, and when things get really chaotic, we have our big Ogren Frag Bomb. This is our reset button, or our last ditch effort to help teammates whenever we're not on top of them. It's super useful whenever a massive group of ragers push in from every direction and no one was prepared for it. Just toss it and watch all of your worries wash away. Now, I chose Stay Close for more toughness replenishment for myself and for my teammates within Coherency. More survivability for everyone. Speaking of survivability, I fell in love with my keystone ability on my tank build. Feel No Plane blesses us with 10 stacks that give us damage reduction and toughness replenishment. And with the modifiers, we can easily replenish toughness much easier. Pained Outburst gives us more toughness whenever we run out of a stack. Not only that, it can actually push off anything that keeps us down. Strongest gives us our stacks back whenever we push enemies back. And Toughest grants us more replenishment with each stack of Feel No Pain. This is what keeps us going whenever we're fighting up close, and you'll barely see any toughness drop with how much you'll be regenerating. As for my passives, I really wanted to lean into my attacks and my abilities more for comfortability and overall damage output. With Batter, we can do even more bleed stacks on each heavy melee hit, and this could be applied with our Rumbler's special action. With Bruiser, we can gain 5% cooldown reduction for any kill on an Elite made by us or our teammates. I have Delight and Destruction for the 10% damage resistance to anyone bleeding in my melee range. This is going to be best used with your combat ability, but if you're fighting a horde, lay some heavies in there to mitigate some of your damage intake. Furious was a no-brainer since we need to apply heavies to cleave. This can also stack on more damage after each chain hit making us even more deadly. Get Stuck In allows everyone on the team in Coherency to gain 20% movement speed and immunity to stuns and suppression. So now whenever I activate my ability, people can get out of a tight spot with ease. Remember your only job is to keep the little ones safe. Hard Knox makes taking down pesky brutes with no problem. You gain 1% damage to your next heavy melee attack on enemy stagger, and it could stack up to 25 times. This is great for cleaving as well. And with Heavyweight, we can damage all of those brutes with even more power. 
we gained a 30% damage increase to all Ogren types, and we received 30% damage reduction from them as well. Lynchwing keeps our toughness replenished even more so when we're in coherency. Now, the little ones will keep us safe. I chose no pushover as it works as a nice synergy for our keystone ability. Since blocking an attack can reduce our push cost by 20%, it will allow us to gain even more stacks that feel no pain much faster. The next two passes are both geared to make you stay alive longer, and if you live longer, so does your team. Smash him gives us more toughness whenever we land a heavy attack on a single target, and with the best defense, we can gain even more toughness whenever we hit multiple targets with a single heavy attack. And finally, with Soften Them Up, any damage that we do to an enemy now receives 15% more damage for 5 seconds, so just keep swinging. For my operative modifiers, we have boost in health, melee damage rending, toughness, and toughness damage reduction. This is all for maximizing our build's strength and a constant flow of pressure on the enemy. And that's it. I've created an absolute monster at close range, and honestly, it takes a lot to bring me down. This build has carried me through auric damnations as well, making it a viable build for all the difficulties the game can throw at you. If you struggle with Ogren at all, please give this build a try, and work with your team constantly. I made this class so I can protect them while also receiving buffs from everything that they kill. But in all honesty, you're the monstrosity in this case. You'll have tons of health, toughness, and damage to deal to everything around you. Just have fun and keep on swinging. Anyways, I'm going to go start working on the next build for Saturday's upload, but in case you forgot, my name is Zen, and I hope to talk to you again real soon. Enjoy the rest of the match.
doesn't seem very supportive. I suppose that's why I like it.
watching you. Sparkhead, Abu. Follow me. Thank <laughs> you. 